Hi there. So this video is going to be the first in a series of videos on the PI3 kinase AKT pathway. This is a very important intracellular signaling pathway that is mutated or overactive in very many human cancers. And if you're reading research articles, a lot of times you see them analyze, you see the researchers analyze this protein called AKT. Um, why do they look at AKT? AKT is a central player in signaling into the cell to get the cell to go through the cell cycle, to inhibit apoptosis, to manipulate the metabolism of, of a cell. So AKT is a central player in cell division, cell survival. And like I said, in many human cancers, this pathway is overactive. So uh, this video is just gonna be a very brief overview of all the important players and the connections, and then we're gonna go deep into each individual protein and mutation that occurs in human cancer. So like all uh, intracellular signaling pathways, uh, we start outside the cell. There are extracellular signals that are transmitted through the plasma membrane via receptors. Um, these could be receptor tyrosine kinases, they could be G protein coupled receptors, they could be integrins, a whole host of uh, cell receptors can transmit a signal into the cell to activate a protein called PI3K, more commonly referred to as PI3 kinase. This is a central regulator in this pathway. So we're gonna see PI3 kinase um, generate a molecule in the cell called PIP3. PIP3 is a sugar, actually. It's a sugar decorated with phosphates and lipids that lives in the plasma membrane, embedded in the plasma membrane. So PI3 kinase is going to, it's a kinase, it's gonna phosphorylate one sugar to create another sugar called PIP3. So PIP3 is a signaling molecule. It's gonna help send a signal into the cell from the plasma membrane, from the um, cytoplasmic side of the plasma membrane, and that signal is going to be transmitted to proteins. So two proteins that we're going to talk about are PDK and AKT. These are also kinases. Kinases are extremely important signaling molecules, regulatory proteins. So P3 kinase, PDK, AKT, all kinases. And these uh, signals, um, once they reach AKT, AKT has many substrates, and when it phosphorylates those substrates, it regulates their function, and those functions include a wide variety of cellular um, areas, including the cell cycle, apoptosis, glucose metabolism, protein production. So AKT is the central key regulator in all these cellular processes. So, um, and there's one more important player in this pathway called P10, which acts upon PIP3. We're gonna learn that P10 is a phosphatase that actually will remove a phosphate from, P, uh, from PIP3. So these are the uh, central regulators, central players in the PI3 kinase AKT pathway. And so, as I mentioned before, in many human cancers, this pathway is overactive, either due to mutations within the pathway the mutations in many of the, the genes that code these proteins that I'm showing you, or mutations upstream of the pathway, what can regulate, for example, PI3 kinase, which we will learn in later videos, includes things like receptor tyrosine kinases and RAS. So when uh, PI3 kinase is overactive, or when um, AKT is mutated, or when P10 is mutated, this pathway is overactive. And when it is, cells are um, continually going through the cell cycle. So they're constantly thinking it's time to go and go from G1 to S, G2, M, make more cells. Um, when this pathway is active, apoptosis is inhibited or prevented, which allows the cancer cells to survive in places they shouldn't be, in uh, areas of the body they shouldn't be. They're dividing when they shouldn't be dividing. Um, it allows cancer cells to have a very high meta metabolic rate in, in that they're consuming sugar, they're producing lots of proteins that allow them to go through the cell cycle. So um, when this pathway is overactive, that is a very bad thing for, for us because that allows these cancer cells to grow and survive when they shouldn't. And we're going to learn, like I said, mutations can occur in protein in genes that code for these proteins in the pathway. So I'll mention right now, 
There are mutations uh, in PA3 kinase, mutations in P10, and mutations in AKT. So if, uh, and we'll learn how these mutations affect their function. And uh, if these mute proteins are mutated, then these proteins are overactive, well, or maybe they're deleted because maybe they're tumor suppressors or maybe they're oncogenes, but we'll cover that later. Um, so the key mutations in the pathway or mutations upstream of the pathway, like I mentioned in uh, receptor tyrosine kinases or RAS are going to regulate that. But again, this is an overview of the pathway. Um, and finally, um, the reason, the other reason to talk about this pathway when we talk about cancer biology is drug targets. So if you want to treat cancer, <clears throat> small molecules that are active inhibitors, for example, um, great places to inhibit um, in this pathway because many of these enzymes are <clears throat> kinases. And what do we make? Kinase inhibitors that can um, <clears throat> bind to ATP binding pockets and inhibit kinase function, which will inhibit phosphorylation, which will inhibit signaling. And like I said, we'll get to that. So um, there are drugs that target PA3 kinase or AKT that can prevent this pathway from being activated. So that's a quick overview of the PA3 kinase AKT pathway. Uh, I will be making many videos on this pathway uh, going into detail into PA3 kinase and P10 and AKT and AKT substrates and what AKT does to its substrates so that you could really learn the intricacies of these, this very important intracellular pathway.